<laughs> Love you, baby. Hi, I'm Curious It's Lila. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my motherfucking channel. You guys know the drill. As always, for today's video, so many of you guys have requested it because a lot of you guys are in high school or whatever and have asked for advice with school and high school in general and what I wish I would have known. Because if I knew what I knew now in high school or like before, oh bitch, I would have owned that fucking shit. And ugh, first of all, bitch, I'm so fucking sorry that you are even still in that fucking waste of time. And a lot of people don't realize like the whole tea with high school and like what's important and who is fucking worthless and like whatever until you are done with high school and then you're like oh fuck why did I give a was what she had to say so yeah I'm just gonna get right into today's video which is gonna be me telling you guys what you need to realize when you are in school and high school and middle school and all that because so many people can have such rough experiences and I just want to get you guys through it because it can be a dark ass fucking place so without further ado, make sure you guys are subscribed and give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and keep on watching. So obviously, cliche as fuck, number one is that it's literally not the whole like best years of your life. The like best part of high school was probably like the last month of high school because everyone was so excited that we were getting the fuck out of there and everyone was so excited that they never had to see their rude ass teachers again and it was just like happy vibes it was getting warm it was almost fucking summer people were like coming to school drunk honestly at that point <laughs> like nobody even went to class like it was just a free-for-all and that's why people enjoyed the last month of high school for me there were so many times in high school so many different friendships so many different realizations so many different stages of who i was and like what the fuck i wanted to be with myself and with my life there were so many times where I was just like oh my god like so and such a time that I fucked her boyfriend like oh my god my nudes just got leaked on my fucking snapchat story so many fucking things that happened that I thought were so important and that were gonna be the end of it all and that we're just gonna ruin my life and like I wasn't gonna come back from it but baby there is so much more coming than anything in high school or anybody in your school there is so much more coming for you and I wish I would have known that in high school because I thought all these people were gonna be there for me like my entire lives and all of them were so important and all of their opinions matter when in reality bitch it doesn't like literally do you do what makes you happy because in the end you will regret not doing so wear fucking makeup to school be barefaced at school like who gives a fuck like you are still snatched no matter what like who are you trying to impress at your school a guy maybe if he doesn't love you with or without makeup like next that's just not even worth it worrying about people who like wouldn't worry about like you slash love you for who you are anyways so like if they don't love you at your worst and your best bitch kick them to the curb and speaking of people's opinions of you like being popular or having like friends literally does not mean shit it's not gonna make the numbers in your bank account go up it's not gonna mean anything to you in two seconds like in five fucking years like it's literally just not gonna matter later in your life like you're gonna sit back and be like oh my god like did I really give a fuck what like that group of girls thought about me or like did I really care like you know what I mean like popularity is just so overrated and like once you find that group of people who will make you feel so fucking happy and positive and uplifted and you don't need to like go out every fucking day in order to have a good time with them like you can literally sit in someone's basement and play fucking Mario Kart and be your fucking self and they still love you and you're still having a good time like that's what I think matters the most you're gonna realize like why was I trying to impress these people like why did I care so much about like partying why did I care so much about boys like baby literally just do you find that group of people who loves you for you join a fucking club do a fucking sport and once you find people and are in that environment that is like so uplifting and you have so many people that are just like pushing you to be a better version of yourself that is is what fucking matters because that's what you're gonna remember you're not gonna remember the times that you didn't fucking eat because you wanted to look better in your swimsuit you're not gonna remember like feeling fucking bloated like who gives a fuck about what you look like who gives a fuck about being gay trans lesbian fucking shaving your head dyeing your hair fucking blue do it all bitch experience with fucking life and you will feel so much happier and you will be able to find out like who you are and what makes you happiest sooner rather than fucking later speaking of popularity I gave a fuck about what people thought about me way too much and I regret it so much like literally from the fucking sixth grade like through fucking junior high when I had like 35 lunch detentions one year like 30 the next year and two in school suspensions literally just for trying to be like that bitch who people thought was funny like oh I should stand on a fucking chair and dance to I just had sex by the lonely island just because I want this bitch to laugh like oh I should fucking talk back to my teacher just to like get people to laugh or something like that and it's like why was I getting in trouble for these people that literally didn't give a fuck about me it was just such a waste of my time so just like I think 
trying to impress people that wouldn't try to impress you is what I'm trying to get at because like if your opinion like about them doesn't affect them then like why are you trying to please people who wouldn't try and please you and there are always going to be those popular bitches or bitches that like are looked at better than everyone else in the school and that is just fucking facts there's always going to be those douchey ass fucking guys that think they're so hot just because they fucked three bitches in one night and there's just always going to be grimy ass bitches who don't understand like real life and like real friendship and you just have to realize all those people are literally going to be like working at mcdonald's in five years wait <laughs> I'm literally working at McDonald's, but you shouldn't let other people's opinions of you matter because in five fucking years, those guys, those bitchy ass girls that made your one week or however long hell, they are going to be so miserable in five fucking years trying to please their fucking parents still because they're still under mommy and daddy's money and all those fucking guys are still gonna be fucking trying to fuck so many grimy people drinking fucking bush light or like whatever the cheap beer is that people drink these days, honestly. That is just not what life is about. It's not trying to please other people it's about trying to fucking please yourself and be confident and like at ease with who you are and your fucking self and, and that is the motherfucking tea i do not want to be like a bad influence for anyone younger but high school to me was just a fat waste of my time because the school administration were all cunts you just have to realize that high school is such a waste of your time but it also is so important to who you fucking are there were so many times where i like stayed home crying where i didn't go to fucking school because of this rumor or what i looked like this day or like that type of shit and now i'm fucking sitting here on my fucking ashed on floor in la and i'm like wait why did i give a fuck about any of that like who cares uh, None of this stuff you guys are stressing out about is going to matter in one day, one week, one fucking month, five years. In that amount of time, nobody's going to be talking about the time you accidentally got blacked out at so-and-so's house and puked in her fucking bathroom all over the floor, in her fucking shower, whatnot. Like, nobody's, that's not going to matter. And I know so many people get down on themselves for decisions they make when they're drunk or like so-and-so this, so-and-so that. But you just have to realize that it's not going to fucking matter. Like, that's the fucking tea. Like, you just have to move on. You have to realize that you made a mistake. You have to realize that so-and-so might have made a mistake. So-and-so might have talk shit cut out all the negative bitches because not even worth your energy at this point like next pointer that i want to talk about is to enjoy the food that you, you like have in front of you like literally your parents having groceries in their house is such a fucking blessing like and even going to fucking lunch if you eat school lunch like high key my school had some dank ass fucking shit not even gonna lie like i'm sitting here two years later and i'm like fuck like i wish my mom would make me this or like i wish i didn't have to go to the store and like have two dollars in my bank account just because i want pasta do you know what i mean like it's fucking rough and like buying your own groceries cooking your own fucking food that's gonna turn out like shit anyways doing your own dishes putting the dishes in the fucking dishwasher such a <laughs> to say the absolute least like <laughs> Mama's staying humble, don't get me wrong. You know my ass does my fucking dishes. And also going off of that is like literally enjoy living at home. Enjoy life and enjoy your fucking family and your parents and the people that are supporting you with a roof over your fucking head before you have to do it on your own. Baby, you're not gonna get to live under your parents' roof your entire life. And props to the people that moved out at fucking 16 or 18 or what age you guys are moving out at or fucking 25. Like props to you for supporting yourself, paying your own phone bill, paying your own fucking car insurance because bitch it is a fucking struggle and it is a grind that some people just take for granted and that some people don't even have to fucking experience until they're 30 because they're still under their parents credit card at this point i regret so many times like literally cussing out my parents not talking to them and fighting forever just because i want to go to this one party or just because i wanted to hang out with so and so or i wanted to go do this to please so and so like i just like don't know why i wasn't doing certain things for me my brain is so fucking scrambled right now which you guys are probably used to like whenever you guys watch my videos it's probably just like oh all brain cells are going down the drain bitch <laughs> like huh Layla what are you saying the shit that I miss honestly it's not like my life is fucking hard and it, I'm literally living in a state that's warm as fuck but like enjoy your summers while you have the chance enjoy the summers where you don't have to spend working away your life enjoy the summers that you get to spend like literally just fucking relaxing and chilling and having like no fucking stress because baby those are not gonna last probably after my summer after my senior year that was probably like, the summer that everybody just went the absolute fucking hardest because after that all the people are either gonna be fucking successful or go do internships or be at college or work a full-time job or like trying hard to find a fucking sugar daddy like literally me honestly as you get older it's like fuck i think all of the things i've said so far is to just enjoy your fucking life in the present moment because you will regret not 
doing things for yourself, trying to please so-and-so, you will regret caring what these bitches think. You will regret, like, not enjoying life to the absolute fullest every chance you fucking have because you never know like one when that shit will be taken away from you and like don't get me wrong like I literally every day kind of is like summer like it's just like hot in California honestly I don't even do weekends I don't even do summer like I just kind of like okay it's a Wednesday night like let's black out there was just so many stressors of high school that I remember like taking a test and like arguing with my parents like crying or fucking feeling like I was just scum of the earth because I didn't pass a test literally always but like bitch I'm sorry that I'm in fucking school from uh, 8 10 until 2 45 like that's literally seven hours of my fucking day bitch like that's almost a third of my day that I'm alive at school in a fucking building and then I only have like six hours of like life left before I have to go to sleep and do it again like I'm sorry that I don't want to spend my whole days after school studying like when I study it literally goes in one ear and out the other so like why would I waste my time studying when like it's not gonna like stay in my brain you know like why would I read a textbook when it's like huh that is dissolving the second it goes through my fucking eyeballs I just like was never meant to read a fucking textbook and that is the fucking tea I just want you guys to know that if you feel stupid as fuck because I've literally been there not to make it actually affect your happiness and like your fucking life because it's not that important obviously high school is fucking important if you guys are going to college work hard bitch <laughs> but realize that the one F isn't gonna end your life okay if you're trying to get into Harvard bitch it, okay it might but like it is not going to matter in the long term like it it's not like that's just the fucking truth it's it's just not and so yeah, if you guys have any other things that you want me to talk about revolving high school, literally let me know because a bitch was through it all and like I literally just like don't even like have a recollection of high school because that's how irrelevant it is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about revolving high school because bitch, mama was through it all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this scatterbrain ass fucking video about me just venting about high school. If you guys have anything you want me to talk about revolving high school, Make sure to leave a comment below. Give this video a big ass motherfucking thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below. And until next time, you guys, always remember, stay motherfucking true. I love you guys.